How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to evaluate and simplify rational algebraic expression. So, before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool, clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, welcome to the second half of our week 3, quarter 1 of the Mathematics 8 for the most essential learning competency which is focused on the rational algebraic expression. But for this session, we will going to discuss how to evaluate and simplify rational algebraic expression. So let's start. The first thing we should know is that what is evaluation or evaluating rational algebraic expression well in mathematics when we say evaluating we tend to replace a certain value of the given variable to the given expression so let's try it so math learners as you can see in our whiteboard we have three rational algebraic expressions now the question is how do we evaluate this given rational algebraic expressions First, we need to have a certain value for our variable. We have here, x is equal to 2. So what we will do is, we just replace the value of x into 2 into our expression and then we simplify it. Okay, let's try it. So as you can see here, in this expression, we only have this part as our variable. So we tend to change that into 2. So that is 4 over 2 minus 2 is equal to 4 over 0 is equal to undefined. Okay. Next, we're going to discuss this later. Next, so we have in our second expression 4x over x squared minus 9. As you know, this is a polynomial and this is another polynomial. What we will do is we replace our x by 2 so that gives us 4 times 2. Now, if you want to ask me, Sir Ash, why did we multiply them? Remember that in algebra, when a constant and a variable are put together or they are um, written side by side, it means that there is an operation there and that is what we call multiplication. Okay, now we have here x squared minus 9. So we also have 2 squared minus 9. Remember, in solving this one, always apply our order of operations in solving expressions or known as the PEMDAS or the GEMDAS. Okay, so 4 times 2, that is 8. We have 2 squared, that is 2 times 2, 4, 4 minus 9, and that is negative 5. So our final answer is negative 8 over 5. Okay, so they are just the same. Clear? Now, let us go to our next expression. We have here x squared plus 2x minus 35 divided by 3x plus 4. So, we change our x into 2. So, that gives us 2 squared, okay, plus 2 squared, or 2 times 2, sorry, minus 35. And then we have here 3 times 2 plus 4. So if we simplify that, we have 4 plus 4, okay, 4 plus 4, that is 8, 8 minus 35, that will give us negative 27, okay, over 3 times 2, that is 6, 6 plus 4, that is 10. So our final answer is negative 27 over 10, okay, now let us consider the given answers or what we have come up in our given answers. Now, as you can see in number one, we have an answer that is undefined, right? Why? Because our solution or when we simplify our given expression, our denominator side becomes zero. Now, let me tell you this kind of simple rule. In rational algebraic expression, when we evaluate certain rational algebraic expression, we can apply most 
of the real number system or real numbers. However, there is always an exception to the rule. This exception to the rule is the part in which our denominator should not be equal to zero or equate into zero. Because remember that P over Q is our notation for the rational algebraic expression. P is a polynomial, Q is a polynomial. But remember, Q must not be equal to zero. So therefore, if that's the case, then the given value is not a rational algebraic expression. However, in this given, this is a rational algebraic expression such that we just need not to use the value of 2 for this given because it will make our whole expression undefined. Okay, you get that? Okay, now let us go to the second example. We have here 8 over negative 5 or negative 8 over 5. Now, remember, you might ask me, Sir Ash, do I need to convert it into a mixed number because it is an improper fraction? Technically, in high school, we seldom use mixed number because when we are dealing with rational algebraic expression, we are talking about rational numbers come from the word ratio, which means the comparison of two quantities. And so, if your answer will be proper fraction or improper fraction, it is still applicable. Okay? Very good. And now, let us go to our third expression in which our numerator is a quadratic expression and our denominator is a linear expression. Remember, I'm not using the word equation. It's expression because we are not using equal sign in this manner. Okay. Now, even so, this is a trinomial and this one is so a binomial. As long as we apply our evaluation when we replace the value of our x to our given expression, then we simplify it as long as our answer will not give us a value of undefined or an undefined value, then our final answer is still applicable. And the given value is also acceptable as the solution of the given rational algebraic expression. Okay, so let's consider one more example and then we will go to the boundary of rational algebraic expression. Okay, math learners. We have now our last example for evaluation of rational algebraic expression, which is x minus 3 all over 2x plus 1, in which the value of our x is equal to 10. How do we evaluate this one? So what we will do is like this. First, we just need to replace our x by 10, so that is 10 minus 3. While in this denominator, we, have, we also have an x. So we replace that 1, so that is 2 times 10 plus 1. Okay, so 10 minus 3, we know that the answer is 7. 2 times 10, that is 20. 20 plus 1, that is 21. Now, since 7 over 21 can still be simplified by 7, or can we can still get our lowest term, then we try to get the lowest term of this given fraction, by dividing both numerator and denominator, giving us 1 over 3. And that will be our final answer for this given expression. Easy, right? Okay, now, let us go to our higher level. Now, what do you think that this expression will give you an undefined answer? So, how do we get the value for that variable in which the whole expression will become undefined. Okay, this is the technique. What you will do is you don't consider the numerator. Why? Because in the undefined expression, remember that the denominator side is equal to zero. So what you will do is you think of your denominator side. What number might be used in which if we put a value of x here, the final answer is 0. So how do we do that? This is the technique, my dear students. What you will do is you get the denominator, that is 2x plus 1, and you equate it by 0. Then you solve for the value of x. Remember that in solving the value of x, we isolate the variable in the left side, and then put all of the 
terms and other coefficients to the right side. So we will transpose our plus 1 to the other side, giving us 2x is equal to 0 minus 1. Okay? Simplifying that will give us negative 1. We still have our 2 here as coefficient of x. It is not yet isolated. So what we will do is we divide both equations by 2. We cancel that. And our final answer is negative 1 half. Therefore, negative 1 half is the number that will be put here in order for this given expression to become undefined. Okay, now Sir Ash, are you sure with that answer? Let's try to check. We use negative 1 half to this given. So we have x minus 3 over 2 times, sorry, Okay, so now let's use the checking for this given whether this value will give us undefined value in our expression. So, we replace x by negative 1 half. That gives us negative 1 half minus 3 divided by 2 times negative 1 half plus 1. Okay, plus 1. Alright. So, when we subtract negative 1 half by 3, we will use the LCD. So that gives us negative 1 half minus 6 over 2. Okay. And then all over 2 times negative 1. That is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2. Okay, I'll just put it here. Negative 2 divided by 2 plus 1. Okay. Continuing. If I subtract this one, this will give me negative 7 over 2 okay because by the rule of integers this will become plus and our subtrahend will be come negative okay here we have negative 1 plus 1 okay now remember 7 over 2 that is still 7 over 2 however in our denominator side we have 0 therefore if we solve this value that will give us undefined. Okay. And that is our answer for this given problem. Okay. So remember, how do we evaluate rational algebraic expression? First is we have a given value for our variable. And what we will do is we replace that value to the given expression and then simplify it. Remember, in evaluating, there is always a constraint such that in simplifying, we should not have a final answer that is undefined. Otherwise, if you have an answer that is undefined, therefore, that given value is not a solution or is not a domain for your given rational algebraic expression. Okay, I hope you have learned that simple way of how to evaluate rational algebraic expression. Now, this is the time that I will be giving you and testing you whether you have understood our lesson and whether you acquire our competency. So, here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have enjoyed our topic for today about the quarter one, week three of the mathematics eight in the most essential learning competency-based lessons. This is still your free access math teacher and always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you for subscribing and like, share this video if you think that this could also help to our fellow classmates, students, and even teachers in teaching this lesson remotely. God bless and thank you very much. Stay safe.